Welcome to our Energy Connects studio at Adipec 2022. I'm delighted to have him sitting next to me, Ian Chapman, CEO of UK Atomic Energy Authority. Thank you so much for joining me. Good morning, Julia. On this busy first day of Adipec. Yeah, it's huge, isn't it? Very busy. Um, look, I want to get straight into what you would want to say about fusion energy. What is it? So fusion is the process which is happening in our sun right now, right? In, the, in the heart of all of our stars. is. Uh, is forcing together mm. two types of hydrogen. You force them together with enough energy, they release a lot more energy in the process of fusion. Um, and that's what's happening in our sun right now. Interesting. And what, and where and how can it fit into the future energy mix, which everyone is talking about? Yeah, look, fusion has this enormous potential, right? It's clean, it's sustainable, doesn't produce any carbon. It's effectively limitless. Our, our fuel is seawater. We have lots of seawater. Um, and it would be continuous. It would go on forever. Um, and, and the main way that it would fit into the future energy market probably is sort of baseload electricity to start okay. with. But then as you think towards the future, one of the challenges of fusion is that we need a very, very high heat source, right? It's yeah. an incredibly intense heat source. So it could be used for, for all sorts of uh, heat production processes as well. Interesting. And then, you know, can you touch a bit more on some more advantages of fusion and how it could work? Yeah, so... so um, yeah, all the advantages are that it's low land use, um, it's effectively Which, unlimited fuel, it doesn't produce any carbon, um, it's completely sustainable. Our, our, our fuel, as I say, yeah. comes from seawater and lithium, and we have lots of both of those. Um, and because it, it's fuel that anyone can get, and it doesn't take up a lot of space, it means it could go everywhere, in yeah. every jurisdiction. And obviously talking about these kind of you know, energy sources, when or how will it become commercially available? Right, so this is the big challenge <laughs> yes. around fusion is that it's really hard, right? really, really hard. Um, we're getting closer all the time. We've had some major breakthroughs okay. in the last few years. Uh, and that gives us confidence that we think we can see fusion on the grid in, say, 20, 10 to 20 years from now. That's really, really good. Could you touch a bit more on those breakthroughs that have happened for the audience? Yeah, sure. So in, this year, in fact, we broke the world record for fusion energy produced, which is a really big deal for us. Mm. Um, and it shows that we have confidence. We're building a big machine, a big machine called ITA right now, yeah. which is a huge international consortium. That machine is due to turn on in just a few years from now. Um, and its aim is that it will produce 500 megawatts out. So you put 50 megawatts in okay. to get the fusion started, and it will produce 500 megawatts. So showing that fusion is possible and possible on scale. Uh, and from then, we expect to see power plants built thereafter. Interesting. Then, you know, what would you say to someone, either a company or an individual, wanting to inv invest in fusion? I mean, I would probably say highlighting what you've just done now. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I think the time is now, actually. The time is really now for thinking about investments in fusion. Look, fusion has always been big technical challenges, but we've defrayed a lot of that technical risk. There is still technical risk yeah. to, to overcome, for sure. But we're getting closer and closer, and it's now at the point where you're seeing investment take off. In fact, there's about 5 billion invested in fusion in, okay. in, in the last few years, and half of that's happened in the last 12 months. So the market appetite is definitely on an uptick, and that's showing that the time to invest is now. Absolutely, and obviously, just before we go, we're here, as we said, on the first day of a busy Adipec 2022. Um, what are you hoping to get out of Adipec, and what are you looking to have discussions about? Do you know, I think the, the great thing about this place is that it brings together all of the energy sector. I find that we have far too many sort of parochial arguments about my energy is better than your energy. <laughs> you know, it doesn't, we should be doing all of it and as much of it as possible. Great. Well, thank you, Ian, for popping down our Energy Connect studio on this first busy day of Adipec 2022.